All right, let's learn how to use fragments. Right? Uh, so what, what is a fragment? Right? So a fragment, you want to think about it as being kind of like an activity, only lighter weight, right? So it's kind of like a sub-activity, I guess. Uh, it does have a layout and even has its, its own life cycle, right? They can be created and destroyed kind of almost independent of, of activities. Uh, so why might you want to do that? So here's an example taken from, from, uh, from Google stuff. Uh, so, so say that, that we have uh, an app that we're developing, kind of like ours. Maybe it has you know, sort of a, a master list here and then some details about each one. If we were developing and targeting tablets, uh, then you, can, you probably have enough room to display both of them um, on the same screen. On the other hand, if you were targeting phones, you certainly don't have enough room. So you might want to put the, um, you might, might want to put the information, the list in one activity and put the other in a second activity. So it's kind of interesting, these two little parts here, the, the master and then the detail, um, they, they're kind of modular, right? They're each doing their own thing and we want to be able to display them together or separately. So an activity really isn't the right thing to use for that, right? Because these guys are, are two of them within an activity. Uh, so we'll say here that the fragments um, live within an activity. Uh, you can actually add or remove them at runtime using fragment transactions, which we'll do in just a few minutes here. Uh, they can communicate with other parts of the activity. So fragments can, can talk to one another and we'll see how to do that using interfaces. Uh, you already saw here, good for, for um, reconfiguring layouts on different devices and everything. Uh, in our case, one of the main reasons we're using them uh, is because they, they have a lot less uh, overhead than activities. So you're gonna get really snappy transition, uh, transitions when you're swapping from one to another. Uh, and a little bit of analogy for you here um, that might help you if you're um, you know, coming from, from Java, Java Swing and everything. Um, so a fragment, we said it's, it's lightweight, right? So I'd say a fragment compares to an activity kind of like a J panel compares to a J frame, right? I mean, you make a new J frame, it comes with it, you know, all the window decorations, all the, all this overhead and all that stuff. Um, but you make a, a J panel, all those, you just swap those in and out of J frames, no big deal, right? But piece of cake. Kind of the same thing here, right? So, so making activities um, in, the, in the, you know, big scheme of things is, is kind of a big deal, whereas fragments are, are um, or, uh, less overhead, right? They're lighter weight. Um, so let's 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 do it, right? What I want us to do is to make an about fragment. Um, I'm going to choose since we're going to have three different fragments uh, in this app uh, to make a little fragment package just to kind of organize them. Uh, and then the way that we're going to do it is just choose a new blank fragment. Uh, and I'm going to actually not uh, choose for this first one here, our about one, to do anything fancy. So uh, no factory methods, no callbacks. We'll use those on on the other ones actually. Um, and I'm just going to call it about about fragment. And then we'll take a look to see what we have. Uh, so in my Java, uh, inside my package, um, I'm going to right click on this guy. Let's see. Actually, I'm going to right click on, on my, my package here. And I'll right click and do new uh, package. And I'll just call it fragments. For small apps, you can put everything in the same package if you want. But I, I just choose to, to separate it in the same way that I separated out the utilities. Uh, right click on this guy and do a new fragment and we'll make a blank one. All right, this guy right here is gonna hold the, the about information. So I'll call it an about fragment. Um, creating the layout uh, I think is, is, uh, is fine here. Uh, and then the, um, so with that name, and I'm gonna unselect these other two and click finish. And it should give us once it kind of compiles here, All right? So inside fragments, I get I get an about fragment. Uh, so let's let's make some comments here, right? So an about fragment uh, is uh, we're we're extending, so we have a subclass of the fragment uh, class. Uh, we have an empty public constructor. It turns out that this is the only kind of constructor that that Android recognizes is is the empty default constructor. Uh, so we're going to have to work around that a little bit later in this unit. Uh, and what we have here is is an on create view, right? So um, the uh, we'll talk a little bit about the um, about the life cycle of um, of fragments. Uh, they're a little bit more detailed than than activities. Um, but if we want to create a view, you know, we're even passed in an inflator and a container and all that stuff. So we go ahead and and, and just uh, just inflate it and return it. And that's really all we're going to need to do for for this uh, for this simple one. Okay. So what I want you to do is to to go on here and grab the contents of the fragment about. 
Um, so this this guy right here is just a relative layout with a little image view, um, just to put an icon here. I, I figured it'd be fun. Uh, you know, if this were your app, maybe you'd put a little mugshot of yourself here and say who wrote it. Uh, certainly, if you're writing this with us, feel free to add yourself to the to the string. Um, uh, and you, you could do that and it has a little bit of instructions about how to use the app. Right? So go ahead and get that on your clipboard and go into fragment about in your resources layout and just replace what's there. You'll see that, that by default they give you a frame layout and we'll, we'll talk about that in a bit. Okay, so I've, I've, I've got a relative layout there and I should see that it, that it, looks, uh, it looks similar to, um, to, to what I said it would. Right? So, so uh, no, big, no big deal there. All right, what we're going to do is uh, in content main, we want to be able to, to load this fragment uh, in there. So we're going to have to make a container. Uh, containers for fragments uh, are typically um, just what are called frame layouts. Super simple, empty layouts um, that you can put multiple things in and they kind of go on top of each other. Um, really, really simple to use. Um, I'm going to give it an idea of, of fragment container because that's all it's going to do. All right, and of course, uh, I'm going to get rid of the whole world because I don't need that guy anymore. Uh, so um, going in to content main and here we see that this was a relative layout. I'm going to change that to a frame layout. Uh, give you a little bit too much. Um, get rid of the, the text view here. Make sure that your closing tag matches and we'll give it an ID. Um, stick it in there. ID equals all right so control space and like I said, I was going to call this fragment container. Fragment container. Like so. All right, we have a place to add it. Um, so we need to add it. Uh, and to do so, uh, let's talk a little, little bit about, about some ideas here for a minute. Uh, is, so I'm going back into my, my nav drawers on, on create and main activity. Uh, and what I want to do is, and this is sort of the big line that you're concerned with, is that I want to add to a specific place in my activity. So this is this is this frame layout um, in content main. So add there, I want to instantiate a fragment, right? So I don't need any information. It's always going to be the same about fragment. So I'll just go ahead and, and make a new one uh, and, and pass it in. Now fragments, we're going to see that there's a couple different things you can do with, with fragments. And generally, they're, they're going to be done with, with transactions so that they're done sort of uh, atomically. Uh, so we're going to have to ask the support fragment uh, manager to start a transaction for us. And that'll, that'll return a transaction. We'll modify it however we want to. We'll see later on we're going to add the back stack um, there. And then we commit what we have. Okay. Comments, make sure that, that when given the, the opportunity, you choose the support versions. Uh, again, if you're, if you're uh, developing for backward compatibility. Um, this guy right here, so we'll just note that we're calling add. So, um, so add is going to, to add it whenever the activity is created. So whenever on create it's called, it's going to add this fragment in. Uh, later on, we'll see that, that that's going to give us some interesting behavior. Uh, and finally, um, I'll note that add isn't the only thing that you can do, but you could replace um, existing ones. Uh, you could remove one. Um, and like I said, you can, you can add things to the back stack. All stuff that in, in due time we're, we're going to do. All right, so uh, let's add these three lines of code um, so that we can see our fragment showing up here. So I'm going into main activity and up to the bottom of on create. And I will declare a fragment transaction and you'll see that, that it comes up as from the support library. Uh, call it what you like, uh, FT for short is, is fine. And I'm gonna ask my app compat activity to give me uh, the support fragment manager and then I will begin a transaction. Okay. Uh, that opens it. I need to commit it when I'm done. And in between, I do whatever I need to do. So, hey, fragment transaction, would you go ahead and add? Uh, and there's different ones here. The one that we're going to use is, is to a specific ID, we'll add the fragment in. So the ID was r.id.fragmentcontainer. Handy that that popped up in the, in the, the front. Uh, and then a fragment. Uh, so I'm going to construct a new instance of my above fragment. Remember, it had a constructor that took no arguments. Uh, and that will add it. And when it when it adds it, that's going to call on create view, and it should uh, should do the right thing. So go ahead and run it and see what you. All right. And once you run it, uh, you should see this guy popping up here. Uh, so pretty sweet, right? 
Now you might wonder, you know, we haven't really seen the power of these yet because I could have just done this one with an activity. Uh, but once we go sw switch in a minute and out, uh, I think you're going to be impressed. So uh, good stuff there. Uh, now we added it in the beginning. Uh, what we usually would rather do is have this about show up when we click the about button. So let's comment this out for now and feel free to, to go ahead and get it, get it on your clipboard um, because I want to scroll down within this guy, down to my nav item selected. And what I want to do is, is um, load it at um, sort of a, uh, just, just whenever they select that item. So I'm going to change this guy to a switch statement since I'm going to have three different ones. Okay. And let's see. So let's look at our cases here. So our first case is if we have, um, so let's see. So for the, for this item here, our dot ID dot, um, and I, I named them with, with nav things. So we have nav about is going to be the first guy. Uh, and if that's the case, we're going to want to make a fragment and we're going to want to break out. Um, we'll do that in a second. Uh, and then let's see, um, I could put in the other cases now. So uh, let's actually grab, so the, the nav uh, docs, okay? And again, that's that's gonna be a to-do. We're gonna, we're gonna have to make one there. Uh, and then the third one was that um, nav uh, settings, which is a little wrench there, that icon. Um, and this one is gonna be empty because uh, we're just not going to do it. All right, and this guy is is to do. All right, um, so uh, I don't really want to put these three lines of code into um, into each one of my cases, right? Because um, certainly beginning of the transaction and committing, those are going to be the same in each one. And in fact, they're all going to add here, and they're going to add to um, to the same place. Um, so really the only thing that's that's going to change here is which fragment I have. So what I'm going to do is factor that out to uh, to another uh, another variable here. Uh, so let's let's go ahead and do this. So I have a fragment. I think in the slides I called it something like like switch to uh, initialize to null. Um, and then if it's the about one, then let's see. I will uh, yeah it wants me to import here. So alt and I'm going to grab the support one. Uh, great. Okay, so so let's uh, um, if they click the about um, item, then we want to um, we want to assign it to it to a new about fragment, and on the other ones we'll we'll give them something there too. Okay. Uh, so let's let's change this so that we're always using the the switch to. Okay. I probably should be careful while at least while I'm testing. If I selected one of the other ones, then it would try putting in a null switch to. So I'm going to put a little uh, little guard around this. So if switch to uh, is not null, uh, then do these these three lines. Okay. And what I want to do is is run this. And what I should see for different behavior is that the uh, that my about fragment doesn't cut up immediately, um, but it comes up um, at the at the time that I uh, uh, that I that I select it. So running it. Indeed, it doesn't show up here, but when I go down and I click about, um, then we get it there. Now it turns out that that my code is actually slightly buggy right now because if I were to click about again, it's actually putting another fragment on top of this guy into this frame layout, which clearly isn't what I want. So what I'll generally want to do is I'll want to instead of calling add, I want to call replace, right? So that'll take what's ever there and then just uh, just sort of take that one out and put a new one in, right? Uh, clearly uh, very much the, the right thing uh, to do there. And the slides uh, are already notated uh, you know, to, to that effect here. Um, so we, we wanna use replace rather than add. Uh, that's it for this lesson. When we come back next time, we're gonna go ahead and create that uh, the, the list, uh, list fragment, All right? See you then.